Muchas gracias, excelentísimo señor Choquehuanca, vicepresidente del Estado Plurinacional de Bolivia. Concedemos la palabra a su excelencia, Hussein Ali Quinji, presidente de San Cibar. I have the honor to deliver this statement on behalf of Her Excellency Dr. Samia Suluhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, who extends her profound regret for not being able to attend in person owing to other pressing national engagements. Science, technology, and innovation are at the core of developing countries' socio-economic transformation because we can only transform through the development of critical sectors such as agriculture, energy, education, health, infrastructure development, mining, water, and environment. We take due notice of the 2023 Secretary General's report on the progress towards SDGs implementation, whereby it has been noted with great concern that halfway before the end point of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, most developing countries remain off track and will remain so unless something is done to accelerate progress on the goals. Mr. Chairman, the Global South continues to disproportionately suffer from wide array of shocks. Recently, these have included the COVID-19 pandemic, rising commodity prices, the geopolitical conflicts, and the growing impacts of climate change. These challenges have raised the cost of living and undermined the efforts towards the achievement of the SDGs in developing countries. We know what needs to be done to enhance the resilience and prevent the adverse effects of future shocks. It is upon us to act now, and we must do, we must do it together through South-South cooperation. Those efforts are making progress, but too slowly.